So for my project, I had the Museum of Contemporary Art in Barcelona, Spain. Some of the background about the building and the artist, um, it was Richard Meyer. He was an artist and um, the building was completed in 1995. He was inspired by Corbusier and he's actually from North America, even though the building is in Barcelona. Um, it's about 14,000 meters squared and it has various artworks um, that come in and out pretty quickly and often. It's a lot of sculptors, painters, filmmakers, etc. Um, the space is kind of divided into two parts. It has the kind of height hall and then the other space where the um, exhibits are. And there's a lot of filtering between the two. So there's more artificial light in the exhibit spaces. Some of the orientation of the space, uh, there's a large curtain wall that is south facing, which provides a lot of light into the space. You can see in some of the images here. Um, and then there's also a large circular kind of hole that um, gathers light in and then is um, you know pushed down and floods throughout the space. Some of the type of lights, so there's a curtain wall like I said, that provides a lot of light. It's pretty direct near the ramps where um, it is directly against, but then as it floods into the space more and more, it's more indirect. The skylights also provide a pretty direct light source depending on the time of day and the time of year. Same with some small holes and crevices that are in um, corners of the building. Um, and there's lastly a frosted floor that provides some uh, diffused and indirect light um, throughout the space as well. So some of the view once you're outside of the building is the Plaza of Angels. And that's this is a space where there's a lot of cultural and social events and it's even kind of a skateboarding hub, which is pretty funny. Um, but you can see the plaza on the left here and then the entrance to the museum with this sculptural piece. Um, on the right. Some of the materials that are in the space, there's a lot of white, pretty much all the walls are white. Um, some of them are just drywall, some are glass, so there's a little bit different reflectivity here, but it, all the white walls really allow this, the light to bounce off of the walls and make the space feel really bright and airy. There's some um, aluminum in the space, um, which is you know a little more reflective, but then there's dark gray um, concrete floors that are somewhat reflective, but also absorb a lot of light. Um, and there's no other color in the space except for the art. And it's to allow the art to have all the focus and um, provide the color in the space. Some of the sensory perception, um, you can see, as I kind of already mentioned before, all the white and light and airiness creates a very crisp feeling, a very modern feeling, very clean. Um, you know, if it was a smell, clean smell, clean feeling, um, bright and crisp. Some of the technology on the windows, there is um, some fin shades that are um, exterior side lightings for, you know, in the in the summer months, whenever the light is pretty um, direct down, it kind of shades some of the space, but then in the winter, it allows the um, light to come in um, from a more horizontal angle. And this is also something interesting I found. The windows are sometimes colored, um, and I'm assuming this is an install because it's not in all the images that I found, but sometimes there are some colored windows that I'm assuming filter in some colored light, which could be really cool as well. A little bit about the artificial light that's in the space. So like I already said, a lot of the main spaces have a lot of natural light. There's not very much artificial light. Um, but the exhibit spaces have a lot more artificial light. And it's definitely more for function in some spaces, but in other exhibit spaces, it has a more psychological and aesthetic effect because there's different lighting creates like a different mood and different color. 
Um, and then the basement, there's no natural light down there. So the lighting is pretty much all functional. It can be, you know, dimmed and brightened for presentations and, and whatnot. And these are my citations. Thank you.